artists. Today we're going to talk all about painted paper and how to make our own painting tools at your house with supplies that you already have. Um, we're mostly working with cardboard today, so grab some of those boxes from your house. They can be food boxes, they can be boxes that um, items have come into your house from the mail. Any type of cardboard will do. And we're going to create some painted paper using tempera paints and analogous colors. And then we're going to use our painting tools that we're going to make on that paper. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Okay, these are my supplies for today's activity. I have some white paper. This is a thicker weight white paper. It's a painting paper. If all you have at home is copy paper or junk mail to paint on, that's okay too because this is painted paper. I have paints here in violets, blue colors. So I've got, uh, I think five different colors here. They're all within the blue and purple family. Water cup with paint brushes. And I have some scissors and some strips of cardboard. Um, I am painting on top of a messy mat, so I don't need a paper towel because I can clean my brush off on the messy mat. If you don't have a messy mat or a paper covering your table, you need some paper towels. So the first thing I'm going to do is make some painting tools to put some different designs or textures in my painting. So I'm going to take the cardboard, and I've already cut it into strips. It's about as wide as my hand. And I wanna further cut the cardboard into squares or rectangles. Now, when you're done with these painting tools, you're probably gonna wanna toss them out so they don't have to be perfect. You don't need to measure, just go ahead and cut your cardboard up. Okay, now I'm going to cut on one edge of the cardboard a type of texture or a line. And this is gonna create some interest when I scrape it across my painted paper. So this one I'm cutting fringe into. And so my cuts are pretty close together. And you can see what kind of texture that creates on the cardboard. I'm going to do a zigzag line. So I'm going to cut out triangles from this one. And remember, these do not have to be perfect. So if they aren't turning out great, you can just toss it in the garbage because that's probably where the cardboard was going to go anyways and try again. So there's that tool. I'm going to cut a wavy line into this one. Now the reason why I'm leaving so much space at the top of these is so that I can hold them and run them along my paper like this and that way my hands aren't getting into the paint, they're way up here. Now this one I am going to sort of cut out fringe. But do you see how it's like wider apart my cuts? And I'm kind of making teeth in my painting tool. So folding it up and then I am tearing off that extra bit that I don't need. So all you're gonna see on the painted paper is the end. Doesn't really matter what it looks like up at the top because all you're gonna see are these parts that touch the paper. And as many types of painting tools that you can think of, um, that's how many you can cut. So I have five here and I'm going to stop. And the next step is I'm gonna set my painting tools aside. And now I'm going to paint my paper, the whole paper, I'm gonna 
paint it with my colors. Now I'm not gonna paint um, pictures or words. I'm just gonna be painting designs, shapes, just basically getting the whole paper wet with the paint using all the colors on the paper. Make sure your paper stays nice and wet when you're painting so that the painting tools will work. And I will be right back with some paper to paint. The most important thing about painting um, painted paper is that the whole paper is wet. So you wanna work really fast and you wanna make sure that if you have any wet areas, or I'm sorry, dry areas or areas that are drying before you use the tools, that you go back and you add a bit more paint because you can't drag the tools across your paper unless the paint is wet. So my paper right here is totally wet. Um, and so now I'm going to use my tools. So here are the five texture tools that I made, and I'm gonna show you what each one does. So I'm gonna start out, this is my favorite one. This is the one we did fringe in. And so what it's gonna do is give this really cool um, scraped texture. And I really, um, in, at school, this is always my favorite texture tool to use. This also is a really fun texture tool to use and you can go both ways with it. Um, gives kind of like a woven look. This one will give you just lines. This was our wavy tool. And then this one was just one curve. And you can go around the paper and use the texture tools. You can overlap them, see what they do. And this is a final look result. Now you can leave this paper as is. This could be your final look for your art project, or you can make a bunch of these using different analogous colors. Maybe you have one that's reds, and oranges. Maybe you make another one that's yellows and greens, and then you can collage them together to make something new. Um, I'm going to stop here at the painted paper part because um, I like to make these lessons kind of short so they can be done in one day. Um, if you want to save them, we can come back to them later. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this lesson. If you did, please leave some comments. I'd love to hear what you thought, and I'd also really love if you posted your artwork. Okay, everybody, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.